Hello everyone and welcome to this action skills overview guide. We will look closer on what skills you should um, just read the book and break it up and how to level them up efficiently and all the other skills of course. The list is a little bit long but I make it as short as possible. This is just my opinion so please take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes it makes more sense to train the skills or it makes more sense to read the skills in the books. For some skills it's necessary to read the book to at least start the book but you can fastly break it up and read something else. And another important information, if you have a skill on skill level 50 for example and you have skills under it that you read anyway, then you can break up the book and start with the skill beneath. First off, anatomy, yeah, read that to the end or just um, smack a other person or a crash test dummy to get um, the damage assessment and with the damage assessment you skill also the anatomy. So yeah, you could break up the book. For athletics you don't need the book, breathing technique and jumping depending on how much you run around and jump so you don't have to read this. Lenny technique, yeah, read that to the end because skilling this takes a lot of time and it's a pain in the ass. Just fall down stuff and get damage. Sprinting is a no-brainer, don't read that. Armor training and heavy armor training and foot speed could be leveled uh, too. Just wear gear that is 1 kilogram over the maximum you can carry and just move on and run around. Balance, read that to the end. Skilling this is a pain in the ass, but the fastest way is uh, fighting a Minotaurus for example. Or be on horse and your body hits you all the time. Also the same for these two skills. For blocking you don't need to read blocking, just block and your friend hits you all the time that just works perfectly. Same for blocking endurance and unarmed blocking you don't need to read that. Combat maneuvering is just if you run around with a drawn weapon, so yeah, don't read it to the end. Armor training, heavy armor training and blocking endurance, we already had that. And if you skill this you also skill combat maneuvering. For combat balance read it to the end or get hit by your friend with a big maul if you are on a horse or just fight Minotaurus. Combat movement, draw your weapon and run around. You don't have to read this, faint, just hit with your weapon. I recommend to start reading and break it up, because if you're farming walkers or picks, you'll level it anyway. Same also for momentum, you level it anyway if you're hitting something, so don't read it to the end. Combat techniques, don't read it. For aggressive stance and defensive stance, it just depends. But for aggressive stance, if you farm something, you level it anyway, so yeah, don't read it to the end. Unless you are actually farming a lot with your combat weapons, and very important, bows doesn't count. Defensive stance, if you get damage, yeah, you don't have to read this. Make a wooden weapon with your body and he hits you all the time, it, it works perfectly. For domestication, read it to about uh, 30. Then read any subskill, and yeah, read all that subskills if you need them to the end. Animal care, just level animals, stand uh, near them, feed them. It's a real pain in the ass to level this. Beast influence, just give your pet comments, and not comments, commands, sorry, put your comments in the description please. Beast mastery, just attack something with your pet. Please read all the domestication skill tree to the end. Every skill of this is a pain in the ass to level it up. Creature control, just be with your pet. Give comments, feed it, read that book to the end. Same for advanced creature control of course. Herding, yes, read it to the end. To level it up, just have two pets. For example, two picks, three picks, four picks, whatever. And now taming, yeah, read that to the end. This is one of the most pain in the ass skills ever. To level it up, for example, just uh, tame a few picks. And then you don't get any more experience from picks. I mean, if you read it to the end, you have it at least uh, to uh, 70, I think. But uh, then you will only get uh, experience points from uh, higher level animals. Not the higher level from the species, but it's uh, a little bit different. For example, you can uh, tame wolves and then bears, for example. And uh, then to get it 100 uh, molvas, for example, and some more high-end animals. For endurance, don't read uh, that to the end. It will level anyway if you just run around. Active regeneration, you don't have to read uh, that to the end. Just if you are damaged, just sit down. For passive regeneration, you need a book to learn this. But you don't have to read it to the end because you're getting damaged uh, always in the normal gameplay so it will also passively level up. You can combine this with landing technique pretty good. Or if you're leveling up defensive stance or blocking with your friend. Resistant swimming, it's kind of depends. You really don't have to read this to the end. It depends on uh, if you swim a lot. It means if you're wearing armor or too much uh, in your inventory and you normally can't swim, then resistant swimming will increase the threshold with uh, what you can, with how much kilograms you can swim. For subsisting, really important, read that to the end. It shortens the time for the mercy mode so you are faster able to do stuff again. Gathering, mining, woodcutting, yeah don't read that to the end, it's not necessary. 
because for the professions you also need the lore for the stuff you're gathering so you must level it up anyway yeah magic schools um just uh, start to read for the threshold to start economical spells for example so start reading economical spells animism yeah read uh, that to uh, the end you need uh, that for the tapi lore and yeah trust me you want to read uh, that to the end because tapi is very expensive and it's one of the best crit materials ever i mean weak spot chance but uh, that's basically a crit economical spells yeah read uh, that to the end unless you want to macro 24 7 or um yeah watch our youtube video and just uh, hit yourself with sport all the time uh, spurt sorry um, just uh, use water dominate is uh, the same like taming but immortal on one there was a book row for dominate one two three and four for skill level 70 to 80, 80 to 90 and 90 to 100. If you have these books available, use them. Otherwise, just dominate everything you can see. And of course, high-end creatures. Kimurid lore, yeah, that is for the greater Kimuru stuff. That was a huge end boss immortal on N1. And it dropped uh, unique um, stones. The Kimurid stones, pretty expensive. Yeah, read that to the end if you have the chance to get one of these books. Spiritism for seeing spirits, of course, and reviving people. Yeah, read uh, that book to the end. Living this is also pain in the ass. Or you just cast awareness all the time and watching uh, 10,000 YouTube videos while doing that. Mill combat is a no-brainer. Yeah, you don't have to uh, read uh, that. For axes, pole axes, clubs, daggers, spears and swords. It just depends, but it's better if you have a buddy and you use a wooden weapon and just hit your buddy or the training dummy with a very cheap bone tissues weapon, for example. Oh, and of course for brawling too. I nearly forgot that. Mounted combat, read it to at least around 50 and just hit someone from your mount. Get the book mounted charge and read it to the end. And in the process, you're also leveling mounted combat to 100 and just hit people with it to level it up. Mental training, you don't have to read that. Concentration, mental focus and mental offense. You don't don't have to read uh, that to uh, the end. If you're leveling up ecumenical spells, then you spurt yourself anyway all the time. So you also level uh, these three up anyway. Range combat, no, you don't have to read that. You also level it up by just leveling archery. And you also don't have to read archery because it also levels up very fast. Just get a shitty bow and go to the training dummy. I mean a bow with nearly no stamina drain. Aiming technique for less stamina, controlled aiming for holding the breath, marksmanship for critical headshot damage chance, for harder weak spots and mounted archery can be combined in one. Just get on your mount and hit the target. And if you don't need mounted archery, just a foot archer or any target. On the head for the marksmanship, of course. <laughs> head yeah resting you don't need to read that same for the active regeneration and the meditation you can level up active regeneration just by sitting down just by resting and meditation to gain your mana back also just sitting down for riding you don't have to read that it's not worth it because if you level up the other skills like controlled riding mounted archery and all the other stuff you gain riding skill anyway so controlled riding and a swift riding for more speed and less stamina drain yeah just just ride with your horse i just recommend that you read the swift riding book to the end Mounted archery or mounted combat just depends on how fast you want to skill up your stuff. Just hit the training dummy from uh, your mount or your friend for example, but for mounted charge, read that to the end. It's a pain in the ass sometimes. Or you just watch uh, three movies while doing that, while skilling it up. For survival, you don't have to read uh, that to the end, of course, for swimming also. Because if you are in a lake or a river or something like that and you just watch up and press uh, the numlock button, and then you auto walk or auto swim. So you can level it up while cleaning your house. Same for all these swimming related stuff. Just for diving, it could be annoying, but if you make it with the auto walk right, you uh, sometimes sank to the ground so you can even level up that. Vitalism for the amount of your mana. Yeah, you also don't have to read uh, that to the end, of course, because you can uh, just start with meditation or with mana regeneration and then you level up vitalism anyway mana regeneration here is passive mana regeneration just good to know and meditation we already had that so i really hope it was helpful and remember we are in beta so the skills will be nearly instant leveled right now but uh, this will stop at persistence and some skills will be really really annoying to level up so special thanks to my patreon supporters mohikani don dexter and skiba please leave a like and subscribe also ring the bell that you don't miss any future videos if you have feedback questions or suggestions just leave them in the comments always remember to make party hard and goodbye